Okay, so if any of you are familiar with um, some of the clinching exercises we've done, so as you know, I, I, I like doing uh, bunkai from a standing position and a clinching position to try and cover uh, a formal scenario and then a scenario that's got a bit messy and it's got a bit wrestling, okay? So if you remember, we did a session before where... So, We've done, we've done this exercise before where we've got right leg, right leg to go. So we're here, and we're trying to pull pull this one down, sweep this one free. Okay? So we're trying to get out of this clinch and around. Maybe maybe do it from a low, we'll do it from a low clinch. That's probably more easier. We we'll go from a low clinch, above the hip, strip this arm down, and take it through, so we've got ourselves to the outside. Then we're going to punch the back of the head. Okay? Depending on what your partner's got to, to grab hold of, either the back of the lapel or the shoulder, or if you can, get round towards the chin, keep this arm tight. We're going to turn and come round this way. Okay? So this is going to cover the, the punch into the get out drive. Okay? So try it. So again, low clinch. So my right hand on his hip, his right hand on my hip. I've got his elbow, he's got mine, we're in close. So this is like a neutral position for when a fight gets a little bit messy. Okay? I'm trying to get out of this, so I take this arm, pull it down, sweep through. If you're struggling with that, then I'll come around and give you a hand. So I've, I've, I've accessed the outside. You could also access this if we did, you know, if we did some like basic chi upon kumite where he does maybe, uh, I, don't know, I don't know, do it all you do. Yeah, and I just end up on the outside. And then, you've got, then we end up in this position again. So you can try both of them. We can do a slightly more formal one where he's gone for a punch. And I've just slapped it to the side. And I'm here on the outside. Or we can do it from a clinch. Sorry, from a low clinch. I'll come to the outside, strike the head. You should punch, I've got into this. And then either grab, grab, or grab. Keep this arm tight. Because the tighter I keep Dara to me, the more effective this throw is going to be. If I don't hold on, what's going to happen is he's going to just do a little bit of a... Well, if he spins at all, he's not going to go very far. Whereas if I'm giving him less to, to react with, I've taken away his arm, I've taken away the balance of one of his legs, I've taken away his centre line, I've taken away his balance receptors. He hasn't got a lot of choice but to comply and go with me. Okay? Go for that again. So we could go from low clinch, sweep through, strike the head, and round. Or we could do this. You could do a bit more formal. He's gone for a punch. I just slap myself to the side, strike the head, and then do the same thing. Okay? Maybe don't do what I just did, which is slap, go ya like in Olympic karate, and then come back in. Maybe strike and then come in. Okay? And then pull it out. So. As if we're doing the low clinch, we're coming into this position and strike. Maybe your structure's really good. And we've got this opportunity where we can use the, the, the knee to, dry, to bring that stance down just to make that drop down a little bit easier. Okay, so you try it on me. So you drag through. So punch me in the head. Give, give me something to think about. Boom, like that. Then, so right round the chin. So really grab that jaw like that there. Okay. So take, take the knee out, boom, then do the throw. Really cool. Yeah, that's it. And then pull from there. Good. Thank you. Thank you.